Let's look at how we record transactions in ledgers. So the first thing to remember is that every transaction has a two-fold effect on the balance sheet. And what that meant is that for every transaction, at least two items will affect either assets, liabilities, owner's equity, revenues, which will make owner's equity go up, or expenses, which will make owner's equity go down. So uh, double entry accounting is a system of accounting where basically every transaction will result in two or more entries being made in the general ledger. And what that means is, if we look at the ledger on the screen, there's got to be at least one debit and with at least one matching credit. So there can be more than that, but fundamentally there's got to be at least one on the debit side and one on the credit side. For example, a business purchased a vehicle for $10,000 cash, let's pretend there's no GST. The ledgers that would be affected there is we'd have vehicles, which is an asset, going up on the debit side, and cash at bank going up on the credit side. So you can see for the debit, there's a matching credit. What about the next transaction, which is a business paid wages of $500. In that instance, we have wages going up on the debit side, and cash at bank going down on the credit side. So all of the debits and all of the credits equaling will ensure that the accounting equation is always true. So we always want assets to equal liabilities plus owner's equity. And the way we're going to do that is by making sure for every transaction there's always a, a matching amount of debits and credits. The following information has got to be recorded for every entry in the ledger. What we want to do is note the date of the transaction. We want to record the name of the other account, so that's called a cross-reference. So for example in wages. The, that was a debit, the matching credit could be found in cash at bank, so that's what I wrote over here as my reference, and in cash at bank, my credit will, will find the matching debit in an electric called wages, so we'll write in here, wages will be our cross-reference. And lastly, we do the amount. 